Hey guys, what's up and welcome to a new League of Legends video. This is going to be a very quick one, but Warwick's rework, the Warwick rework abilities have finally been released or announced or whatever you want to call them. Here they are on the League of Legends Twitter, on the League of Legends official Facebook fan page as well. So it's only a 30 second video, but there doesn't seem to be a website that, you know, they normally release with all of the, you know, the, the lore and the abilities, or maybe it's going to be released like much, much later. I don't know for sure, but so far, all we have is a this, but regardless, it does show every single ability other than the passive, which I'm assuming is going to be literally a passive that just increases your auto attack damage based on the icon. But without further ado, let's watch the video together very quickly, and then we're going to look at, you know, and try to figure out exactly what the abilities are doing. So let's take a look at them right now. Let's go. Like that, that, that range, that's, that's pretty good. Cool. That's pretty nice. So there you have, there, those are his abilities. So looking at it again. We can kind of skip this part, I feel like, this part just sh sort of shows, you know, it, it shows combat, you know, regular combat, but uses his W right there, that's, that's his W. And then I'm assuming it gives you kind of increased ability power damage, like, especially on your ultimate. You can see his ultimate, I believe, changes, uh, no, it doesn't change icon. But I'm pretty sure his ultimate does have much, much larger range. Like, this is the range of his ultimate for the leap now, right? Whenever you have the W active, on top of also giving you this little vision or something on a certain target, you can see here, if you pause... Zerath, but only Zerath has this little red icon on top of him, right? So I'm not, I'm not entirely sure if Warwick gets to choose who it is, or if it just auto-chooses maybe the weakest target in terms of overall hit points and stats and stuff like that. I'm not entirely sure how it works, but obviously Zerath is being hunted by, down by Warwick, and Warwick does an insanely large leap across like the whole jungle just to get onto the Zerath and boom. That, that, that's his ultimate. His ultimate is almost the same thing, but now it seems to be kind of a skill shot. Which is a lot better, of course, you know, the fact that it's a skill shot, not just, you know, point and click, so that's pretty good. So this is his Q ability. Essentially, it seems to be a target ability that just does damage, makes Warwick go behind the target, boom. And, uh, you know, kind of kind of helps Warwick maybe go on with the chase or something like that, you know? So if someone's running away, boom, you attack them, you go from behind, and you continue on the chase, and that's pretty damn good. If W, turn it on. See, again, he, the Singe now this time gets this little icon here, so I'm assuming Warwick gets, you know, bonus effects to this person, maybe sees them as well, maybe he chases them faster and things like that as well, so... Overall, just helps him with the chase. His E ability seems to be something that gives him what looks to be a shield, but at the same time, it doesn't have an, a, a shield kind of, uh, you know, icon or whatever in his HP, so I'm assuming it's not actually a shield. But it seems like after a couple of seconds, it just does AoE damage and fears everyone around him. So it could be a nice synergy between his E and his Q. So you go behind, you activate the E, you use the Q, you go behind the target. Hopefully, you're in the middle of, you know, a lot of people, and then the E pops, and then everyone gets feared. That could be pretty damn cool as well. Again, his passive, there's no actual demonstration of it inside this video. It's not that I'm aware of, because I'm, I'm pretty sure it's literally a passive that just increases his auto attack damage, again, based on, you know, the, the way it looks. Or maybe it has something to do with healing. Whenever he auto attacks, it actually does heal him. Kind of like his current passive actually on the live servers but then going on to his ultimate you can see now it is a skill shot you have to kind of you know the little arrow you have to kind of you know click and you know it'll go in that specific direction but the one thing that's very important to notice and i'm sure a lot of adc mains especially i mean it's not a coincidence that they're using a support adc in this example here but warwick's ultimate can be blocked by other champions so think of it something similar to like a kaelin ultimate or something like a Jin ultimate or whatever as you know it's very strong and it does a lot of damage but if someone's in front of you it will be blocked so in this case thresh is in front of ash so warwick and ends up just hitting the thresh and not the ash right which is very very important to but one thing to also note is the fact that here you can see that the ultimate is selected, right? He's ready to use his ultimate, but the range is only this, right? This is oh, this is the only range. Not very big range, fairly small actually if you actually think about it. But then in this example here, this guy jumps like across like half of Summoner's Rift to get on the Zerath. So that that is a massive jump. That is absolutely insane. It's almost about the same as a, a Zac E, I would say, maybe a bit less, but it's not very far from it. So that's kind of the idea there. I mean, again, no example of his passive anywhere, unfortunately. I do really want to see his passive go off. Maybe it'll actually show here. Let's watch it one more time. Let's see if, let's see if the passive icon ever goes. Passive never goes. So, I mean, it, obviously when icons go, it shows what ability he's using. So here's the W, boom, gets a little extra bonus effect, gets the extra range and all that good shit. Ults, boom, right there. Okay, nice damage. And then, boom, E, he pops the E, no shield, it, even though it looks like a shield, it doesn't apparently seem like a shield, maybe it's some kind of like extra resistances, it could be extra resistances, MR and armor or something like that, 
But then, as he's on the target, as he's fighting him, you know, he's ready for that fear because it'll give him bonus extra damage. Boom, uses the Q, gets behind him, makes sure he's sticking on the target hard, the fear pops off, the Zerath just cannot move, cannot do anything, and the assassination is more than supposed to be, but... I mean, there you have it, boys and girls, the new world abilities. I mean, I think it's pretty hype. I only wish I knew kind of uh, a little bit better as to what his W actually did, because at the very moment, we don't really know what his W or his passive truly do, other than, you know, having a pretty decent idea on both of them. So, that's about it, but... I mean, Warwick is going to be on the PvE server very, very soon, boys and girls. So I'm very excited. Hope you're excited as well. I will have gameplay of him in the top lane, maybe in the jungle as well. Maybe even the mid lane. We'll see. I don't know for sure yet. But either way, I'm excited. I hope you're excited as well. If you are, boom, make sure to hit with that like button. If you think this new kid is cool, then also obviously make sure to hit with that like button if you're hyped and all that good stuff. So yeah, man. I don't know. The gameplay is going to be coming up pretty soon for the new Warwick on the PvE server. And I cannot wait. So either way, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you in just a couple of hours or so. Peace, 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 peace.